When you power on the Torco, this is the screen that comes up. In this video, we are going to do a general overview of the graphic user interface. If you want more details on each screen, you can watch the other videos. So let's start off with the test settings tab. Under the test settings tab, you can select the test method. Uh, there are various types provided. Uh, the one that's selected right now is constant current, which is the most common method used. You can type in the test current here, uh, the current that you want to draw from the battery bank uh, during the test. You can select the temperature correction factor over here. You can set warning and stop limits on the basis of various parameters over here. This is where you would need to click on to access the test results stored in the instrument. This is where you would need to click on to access the test configuration screen where you can tweak certain settings. This is the message bar which shows you some uh, important information. Uh, for example, right now it's showing you the number of BVMs connected in the circuit. Here it shows you the overall battery voltage being measured by the Torco and also the current that's flowing the circuit. The current is zero right now because we're not doing a test. During a test, you can pause the test by clicking on this icon. To start the test, you would need to click on this icon. Let's move on to the graph tab. Under the graph tab, you can see a real-time graph of the overall battery voltage. You can also see real-time graphs for some other parameters like amp hours, for example. Under the cells tab, you can see bar graphs for individual cell voltages. You will get this information only if you're using BVMs as accessories to monitor the individual cell voltages. Under the battery tab, you can enter some information uh, like the header information and some battery related information. Finally, under the results tab, you can see a summary of the test data at the end of the test. Here you can see that most cells are grayed out and those cells will contain the information which appears at the end of the test. Uh, there are some cells which are editable and you would need to enter information in those cells before starting the test. Thank you for watching this technical support video from Megger.